Hello students, welcome once again to Chem is Try. In one of our videos, I saw at the comment section that some students requested that I teach a shortcut to solving these integrated science practical questions. Well, I followed up and the student said with the lines, they have to use just a simple long rule to measure and they have no problems with that. But with things that look like a clock, like this one, and the semicircle like this, where we have graduations, that is where they have problems with. So I decided that I would prepare a video on how to do that with ease. We have two figures on the board. And we've been asked in figure A to measure the values of A, A1, a2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. In the second diagram in figure B, we've been asked to read and record the values of B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, and B6. We are going to use these two diagrams to learn a trick to help us do this work. Remember, for every trick, there is a little work that has to be done. What is the little work we have to do with these diagrams? Let's consider the first one. Here, look at where the zeroth mark is. Can you see it? We have zero here. The next available number in the clock is what you look out for. So we are not going to consider the zero. But the next available number over here will be 5. Can you see it? Then you write the 5 as your numerator. So in the diagram, look at where the, we have the zeroth mark. Ignore that one. Look for the next available number. And in the diagram, the numbers we can see are 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So from the zero, the next available number we are going to see is five. Then we are going to write this five as our numerator. That is the first step. Then you count the number of graduations. Now these things are called graduations. Huh? These are called graduations. So we will count the number of graduations until we get to that five that we looked out for in the first step. So let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The five is the tenth one. So from the zero, we are going to move ten graduations before we get to so the 5 is the 10th graduation we are going to move. And we call that 10 as our denominator. Can you see it? Uh -huh. Always from the 0, look for the next available number in your diagram. That becomes your numerator. Then from the 0, you count the number of graduations or movements until you get to that first value. Include that first value's graduation and use that value as your denominator. Then you take your calculator and punch what you have, the fraction you have. 5 divided by 10. And that is going to give you 0 0.5. What this is telling you is that every little graduation represents 0 0.5. That is the idea. But that's what you are going to do with the 0 0.5. We are going to keep it. In fact, we are going to hide it somewhere because it's going to be very important to us. If you are asked to read A1, what you do is you just count the number of graduations from the zero. Remember, the zeroth mark is not part. So from zero, this one is not part. Eh? So we have one, two, three, four. A1 is on the fourth graduation. Can you see it? So you take that four 
and multiply it by our 0 0.5. This number we said was very important to us. Then 4 times 0 0.5 will give us 2. So A1 is equal to 2. Let's try reading A2. Once again, we start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A2 is the 12th graduation. So with that one, two, 12 times 0 0.5. You point that on your calculator and you're supposed to get 6. So A2 is equal to 6. Now, I hope by now you can calculate A3, A4, A5, and A6. So pause the video and try calculating it for yourself. Then, continue the video once again, and I would teach you how to count that one too as well. Okay, so for A3, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now this is 22. But it is not on the 22. This is 23. And it's not on the 23 too. It is in between 22 and 23. So the number between 22 and 23 is 22 and half. 22 and half is also the same as 22.5. We multiply the 22.5 by 0 0.5. And you are supposed to get 11.25. So our A3 is 11.25. A4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, so A4 is number 39, we multiply that one to by 0 0.5, and we are supposed to get 19.5. Okay, this was 39, eh? So we can continue from here, eh? 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So A5 is 46 times 0 0.5, and that should give us 23. Then A6, this is 46, eh? 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 51 and half, which is 51.5. And we multiply that one two by 0 0.5, and we are going to get 26.25. 25.75. You are going to get 25.75. So do you see how easy it has become? The first job you need to do is to look in the diagram from the zeroth mark, the next available number. That becomes our numerator. Then from the zero, we count the number of calibrations until we get to that first value. And the number of calibrations or uh, uh, graduations becomes our what? Denominator. Then we punch on our calculator. We keep this number somewhere because it's going to be very important to us. If you ask to read any point in this clock, what we do is we just count the number of graduations till we get to that point. That number of graduations times this value we had at first should give us the actual value over there. Let's apply the same idea to our second diagram, figure B. In figure B, 
you realize that from zero, the next available number is 0 0.2. The values over here are 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and so forth. But from the zero, the first one you are going to meet is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 becomes our numerator. Then, from the zero, the zero is not part, eh? You are going to count the number of movements or graduations until we get to the zero point two. So we have one, two, three, four, five. This is the number of movements. They are what? Five. So zero point two divided by five. That should give us zero point zero four. Which means each graduation represents what? 0 0.04. And we are going to keep this number somewhere safe because we will need this number. If you are asked to read B1, what you do is you count the number of graduations. Eh? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 times 0 0.04. So 6 times 0 0.04 will give us 0 0.24. We move on to B2. We count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and half. That is 19.5 times 0 0.04. You are going to get 0 0.78. B3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we have 27 times 0 0.04. And that will give us 1.08. We move on to B4. That is B4, huh? By now, you realize that from here to here, we have how many movements? Five. Can you see it? So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. Good. So 38 times 0 0.04. 1.52. Then move on to B5. So this is 38, huh? We can continue reading from here. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 and a half. So 47.5 times 0 0.04. 1.90. Now that was 47, huh? 47. So 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So 57 times 0 0.04, 2.28. Please, go through the past questions. You will see things like these clocks over there. Try and see if with this trick, you are going to get the same values they also had in their answers. If you do, kudos. If you don't, Come and watch the video once again, and you should be able to get it. Sometimes, you might not see it round like this, or like in a semicircular form. No. You might even see it as a straight line. But you will see the straight line having calibrations on it, or graduations on it. When you see the graduations on the horizontal or vertical line, it tells you that you have to read. You wouldn't have to use a ruler to measure. No, you have to read the values. And the moment you see the graduations, you also see numbers written beneath them. 
You can look at uh, Wasi Pass question, 2018. They drew a pH scale over there. It was just a horizontal line. And you will see that it's a horizontal line all right. It still has these graduations with values on them. So in that case, you don't have to use your ruler to measure. No, you have to use this approach to read the values over there. In other cases too, you might see a measuring cylinder with solutions in them. The same 2018. You realize there's something that looks like a cylinder that came in the physics aspect with graduations on them. And the students were asked to read and record the values. Still, you can use this same approach and that one too would work for you. In our next video, we are going to learn how to use these values to draw a graph. That one too, there is a trick. And as I've told you, with every trick, there's a little job you have to what? Do. Just be patient and do that little work right. If you're able to do that little work right, everything you do will be correct. Patience is key. Thank you.